I'm Kevin Shaw, Editor-in-Chief of Mopar Connection Magazine. If you're already a subscriber to this channel, you likely have already watched our incredibly cool video where we were invited to help build a wild 572 cubic inch all aluminum Pro Mod Hemi with Indy cylinder heads on Ken Lazari. If you haven't seen it already, we'll go ahead and put the link up in the corner. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity to learn from one of the industry's best engine builders and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed filming it. Anyways, after spending a few days at Indy's new Zinio Ohio headquarters, I had literally hours of footage that I hadn't used. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a behind the scenes look at how Indy machines its 426 SR or high power street replacement cylinder heads. Although the crate motors are what Indy typically puts out front and center, the vast majority of its business is casting, machining, and selling high performance aluminum cylinder heads, intake manifolds, and engine blocks, as well as darn near everything else that you'll need to put your project engine together. As Indy's president Chris Wheatcraft says, they're a parts manufacturer first and an engine builder second. That's not because they don't want to build engines, but Indy knows there's a lot more Mopar guys who build their own engines and know how to spot a top quality American made performance part. While Indy has made huge strides to offer a bunch of parts made in house, they still rely on some of the biggest and most trusted names in the performance aftermarket industry like Comp Cams, Cali's, Mylodon, Diamond, Harlan Sharp, Manly, and more. If there's something you need to replace, upgrade, or just haven't gotten yet for your Hemi, Wedge, or Small Block Mopar, if Indy doesn't make it, chances are they've got it in stock and ready to ship within a day or two. It's pretty dang impressive. While perusing some of Indy's inventory, we even got to see some really cool vintage race car stuff, still new in the box, and we're talking stuff that we thought we'd never see again. When's the last time you've seen a dual plug distributor? <laughs> new in box. That's pretty cool. Hey guys, we're real excited to announce our new shirts for Mopar Connection, including our I Speak Mopar shirt with some of the most legendary names iconic to Mopar, like Panther Pink, Go Mango, and Pistol Shifters, and much, much more. And we also have something special for you small block guys. The new Order of the Small Block. This one has the timing rotation of the Small Block LA and Magnum Motors listed there on the back. And we still have plenty of our What Does Mopar Mean to You shirt and our Order of the Big Block shirt. You guys can find these all at the Mopar Connection store at www.moparconnectionmagazine.com backslash shop. The move from Indy's original Indianapolis, Indiana location to its new facility here in Xenia, Ohio allowed for a world of new benefits. First, the new Ohio location opened up Indy's machining operation by nearly double, allowing the Wheatcrafts to purchase some new multi-axis CNC machines. Throw in some much added storage and a bit more elbow room and Indy's new machine shop is running much, much smoother. The original location isn't closed down either, but it's now mainly dedicated to Indy's cast iron welding and repair services, which as anyone who's dealt with fixing cast iron knows, requires somebody who really knows what they're doing. And Indy's team is one of the best in the country. Returning back to Indy's SR high post cylinder heads, each casting is poured to Indy's unique design and mold here in the United States. While random castings are checked intermittently for metal porosity by being cut in half, you can see some of the sacrificial test pieces here on the shelves. Each and every final casting is machined to exact specifications. Developing a new cylinder head or even an intake manifold 
not only takes thousands of hours of design and testing, but tens of thousands of dollars, if not more, in developing molds, cutting up and scrapping failed castings, and lastly, programming CNC tooling procedures. The investment needed to create a new product is considerable and far beyond the scope of most folks who've never seen the process. Each of the SR cylinder heads undergo a CNC sequence that constitutes literally thousands of lines of hand-typed code, dozens of tool changes, and hundreds of positions. Thankfully, the tools of modern machining allow this process to take an hour or two instead of a full day by hand. We watched as a single cylinder head was chucked up and ran through the process to cut each valve relief. Hardened seats are manually installed once the CNC sequence is completed. Next, the machine cleans up the rough castings opening up the intake ports to either 200 cc's or 266 cc's depending on which part number is being ran that day. As stated before, these are 426 SR heads capable of drawing in a staggering 420 CFM at 800 thousandths lift. Afterwards, each cylinder head is cleaned and blown out to ensure no aluminum chips are in the ports or water jackets, and brought over to have bronze guides and new hardened seats installed. The heads are then deburred and all of the threads chased before being taken over to the Rottler machine to have the valve seats cut to match the two and a quarter inch intake and 1.940 thousandths inch exhaust valves that will go in shortly later. Hey guys, we've got a new set of carburetor tool hats. These are fantastic tools for a lot of you guys who are looking at getting the most performance out of your carburetors. These 3D printed American made carbon fiber infused hats are super durable. They're designed to take an absolute beating, being thrown across the shop, being beaten on, dropped, you name it, they'll absolutely take it. They've been 3D printed with the Mopar Connection logo on them and they include this really neat separated top. They also have all these pockets for your tools. They even have little pockets here for smaller tools and for all your jets. These are designed to fit all traditional style carburetors and will even fit your factory Carter style carburetor. And even if you're running fuel injection, they make a good cover just in case you're working on the engine and you don't want anything falling inside. Of course, you can flip it right over and you can keep all your carburetor tools inside of it, your extra jets, everything you need, maybe even some extra gaskets, so that if you are doing a lot of work on your carburetor, this little guy will be everything you need to take along in the trunk of your car to keep you up and running. If you're interested in one of these, why don't you head over to MoparConnectionMagazine.com backslash shop where you can find one of these guys for sale as well as our t-shirts. While using some of the most state-of-the-art technology does save on time, Indy's not about to compromise on quality and that's why each cylinder head is finished by hand. Each valve relief is manually cut digitally measured to exacting tolerances, just like you'd expect from any top tier engine builder or a machine shop. Per our count, Indy offers six different variations of the second generation classic 426 Hemi cylinder head. And for most of those can be offered either completely bare or fully assembled. This means you can have a pair of Hemi heads ready to run whatever valves and springs you choose or a set that are good to go right out of the box. Moreover, application options range from a true street-friendly 426 that'll cruise better than the factory could ever have imagined, all the way to a full-tilt alcohol race build. In fact, a large percentage of Indy's customers are professional and sportsman drag racers, with quite a few monster trucks and tractor pull racers in there too. After a second cleaning and blowout, the 426SR cylinder head is brought over for final assembly. 
This clean bench elevates the head on a custom perch, allowing Indy to rotate the cylinder head in every direction necessary. Another innovation created by Indy's own Ken Lazari. Valves are oiled and gently spun down their guides. Springs are compressed and installed, fitting over the valve seal. Next come the valve retainers and angled keepers. If specially ordered, each component is matched to the customer's camshaft. Everything ordered through Indy can be properly blueprinted to match what components you're working with. All you have to do is have that at the ready. All in all, never before has owning a top quality high performance 426 Hemi, big displacement big block, or high revving small block ever been easier or more affordable. That might sound a little out there, but the facts are facts. Today's aftermarket offers Mopar enthusiasts more options for engine blocks, cylinder heads, intake manifolds, and more than what was available even 20 years ago. Plus, advancements in technology, paired with decades of engine building experience, has given us far better products with proven results. Today's aluminum parts are far more reliable. Access to engine builders like Ken at Indy has never been easier. Just shoot Indy an email or leave a voicemail. And even purchasing said products can be done with ease from your home computer or even your cell phone. Indy Cylinderhead gives us all the access to decades of engine building know-how, all of the experience of seasoned drag racers, and all of the parts and machining skills equal to those legends who built our favorite brand of muscle car on the race course. And with that, the cylinder head is ready to be bagged, boxed, and shipped to a customer, or to be part of another crate engine that's been hand assembled and proven on the engine dyno. I'm Kevin Shaw and you've been watching Mopar Connection Magazine. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you give it a like, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. It'll definitely help us grow the channel. And if you want more awesome Mopar content, definitely go over to www.moparconnectionmagazine.com where new articles are written and published every single day, Monday through Friday, entirely subscription free to you. We'll see you there. Yeah.